things were starting to change within us and we started realizing we needed something different in um, in our faith walk. All of a sudden, the Jude series put a perfect sharp edge on our walk. So we had to make a decision. Do we go with what Chad and his team are teaching? Or we slide off the edge and go the other way and say, you know what, this was nice, but you're asking us to do things that we're just not willing to do. That's not the way we went. We went with, as a family, we're going to ascend the mountain and we are going to- And be intentional. Be intentional. Hearing about like the spirit of Cora, Cain, you know, you think about those people that they just died, they're gone. But then when they were talking about it, it was like, well, duh, <laughs> that spirit would still be here even though the bodies of the people that it worked in are gone. And, and we just kind of mouth open, stared at each other and like, oh my gosh, we've seen it at work in churches that we've been a part of and not excluding ourselves, you know? So it was very, it put us in a place of being like, God, I need to repent from being a part of this thing. And I, you know, I even apologized to him, like, I'm sorry for my actions in this area because I did not realize, you know, that that was what was driving it. Really, it was the ceiling point for us that we're on the right track. And the truth that's being spoken is the truth we want to follow. Anytime that I now recognize it, I, I just, I'm like, no, we have to turn around and walk away from this. <laughs> I think something new that's going on through me is something I heard just recently from Chad on a podcast, and that would be my submission to the Holy Spirit in the, the fact that I can't ride on Krista's spiritual coattail. Since the quarantine, the Jude series, and the podcast I've been listening to on Bridgeway, I can't be on her coattail. I have to walk through the valley. I have to go through the dark places with the Holy Spirit and learn for myself what I need to do and what the Holy Spirit needs to do within me so that when things are hard or difficult, I can have my own my own trust in God. I, I mean, I know I trust that God's gonna do his work with our kids just like he did with myself and just like he's doing with Lance and I know he's not done yet. I, I finally, we just got to the point where we were like, if, if all these people are listening to these sermons week after week and they're coming back, then we want to journey with these people and it's worth giving everything up for to go be a part of that and take our family there. We're glad we did now because our son even told us, guys, if we hadn't moved, this whole COVID thing would have really upset us. Yeah but everything's been uncertain since we moved here anyway. So we've just been rolling with it and <laughs> trusting God for every day already. So that, that part of it has been a blessing we didn't even see coming. Our family grew spiritually. Our family had a bond that we've never had before. And it's a bond that I think will take us to the next level as a family.